You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaba. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the third edition of the Bahrain Falconry Competition at the Sofatel Hotel in Zella kicked off. Present were the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Chairman of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Minister of Sports and Youth Affairs, Hisham Al Jodar, Royal Family Members, and Falcon Owners. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the wide participation of GC. CC Falcon owners that reflects their keen interest to take part in such competitions which contribute to the success of the event. He also affirmed that the competitiveness demonstrated by the participants indicate their expertise and skills that qualifies them to take part in this tournament. His Highness distributed awards to the winners and the companies and congratulated them for the success of the competition. Royal Guard Special Force Commander His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with the Director General of the French Army International Cooperation, General Dov Frech, upon His Highness's visit to Paris to attend the joint exercise of the Royal Special Forces and the French Special Forces. During the meeting, the two parties discussed a number of common interest topics. His Highness stressed the importance of such meetings and their role in developing relations between the two countries, aspiring to enhance a sustainable partnership between the Royal Guard Special Forces and the French Army, which will contribute to developing relations and unifying joint work. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to General Dov Frech for his efforts to support cooperation and coordination, an expertise exchange which contribute to achieving goals and aspirations in the military training field. At the end of the meeting, His Highness exchanged commemorative shields with General Frech. For his part, General Frech expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid, hailing his role in enhancing military cooperation with France, which contributes to solidifying ties between the two countries. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the achievements made by Bahraini teams in the cross country race in the UAE, organized by the GCC Athletics Organization Committee. He added that this achievement is thanks to the role of the wise leadership in supporting the youth and sports movement in the kingdom. He said that this accomplishment reflects the plans and measures set by the Bahraini Olympic Committee, led by the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in order to enhance the youth and sports sector and continue the march of progress in the kingdom. His Highness praised the significant level of the Bahraini team and their role in enhancing the status of the kingdom in various events. He affirmed that the achievements will drive the Bahrain Athletics Association to exert more efforts in adopting plans, programs and strategies that would lead to further accomplishments in various levels. On the sidelines of the 53rd Munich Security Conference in Germany, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with his Saudi counterpart, Adil al Jaber. The meeting came within the framework of continuous consultations and coordination between the two countries at all international forums. During the meeting, the foreign ministers exchanged views on the regional peace and security and ways to overcome the imminent threats that are facing the region to ensure unity and safety of its states as well as the achievements of development and stability for their people and prevention of all forms of intervention in their affairs. They also discussed the key agenda on the Munich Security Conference. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with his Norwegian counterpart, Borje Brende. They discussed bilateral relations and ways to further boost them in all fields. Sheikh Khaled reiterated the importance of reciprocal visits between the officials of two countries to promote cooperation on the grounds of mutual respect and common interests. The two ministers exchanged views on the vital issues flouted at the Munich Security Conference, as well as issues of common concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met his Armenian counterpart Edward Nalbandian. The Foreign Minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness to boost ties and friendship and cooperation with the Republic of Armenia in all fields. Both ministers discussed bilateral relations and ways to further boost them in all fields. They underlined the importance of reciprocal visits between the two officials of both countries to promote joint cooperation. The meeting spotlighted vital issues on the agenda of the Munich Security Conference as well as issues of common concern.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Commissioner General for the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, the UNRWA, Pierre Cran Bol. The Foreign Minister praised the UNRWA's efforts and its support to Palestinians and wished its success to carry on its projects to improve the conditions of Palestinian refugees. For his part, Cran Bol expressed his appreciation of Bahrain's support of the UNRWA work and its support of the Palestinian people. He also expressed aspirations to enhance joint cooperation between Bahrain and UNRWA for the benefit of Palestinian refugees. In the efforts of protecting public safety and enhancing means of active community partnership, the Directorate General of the Civil Defense responded to more than 67 reports from the 16th until the 18th of this month concerned with the aftermath of heavy rainfall the Kingdom has witnessed. These reports have ranged from draining rainwater from roads and houses, towing flooded cars in addition to extinguishing fires that occurred in electricity boxes due to the rain. The Civil Defense used many advanced rescue tools to deal with numerous cases of fallen trees and electricity posts caused by the extreme weather that affected the country. The Civil Directorate issued previously a warning to the general public to take the necessary safety precautions, noting that the Operations Department receives calls around the clock and presented a series of tips and awareness instructions that achieve greater public safety protection to the citizens and residents, which include the prohibition of dealing with wet electrical tools and appliances and staying away from low places and rain pools when driving, in addition to avoiding walking in areas of unknown water depth, as well as driving in places that do not have sufficient lighting.